8 Altarians. So Terra Spark Boots, and look at that, Ice Skates right away from Frozen from a Frozen Crate. So Frozen Crates obviously can produce Ice Skates, but also uh, you can obtain those from Frozen Chests in the Ice Biome, obviously. Alright, so this is one of the key ingredients to craft your Terra Spark Boots, the fanciest boots in town. Okay, so as of 1.4. Okay, so another, another item we will need for that is of course water walking shoes they're pretty rare one in eleven chance to be obtained from water chests but not only actually you can also catch them uh, in the ocean and they're obtainable from ocean crates okay so but keep in mind that they're fairly rare so one in eleven chance so you, if you get ready to get some to go fishing and uh, Spend some time fishing, obviously. This is not uh, an easily obtainable item. Okay, so it may take a while. So, the next in item we need is Anklet. Anklet of the Wind. And that is only obtainable in the jungle. So, jungle surface, you can actually catch uh, jungle crates. Okay, so jungle crates have a chance to produce Anklet. Yeah. So again, this is one in six or one in seven chance. So uh, yeah, you need some patience for that. But you can also obtain them in the underground jungle, um, basically from ivy chests. Ivy chests can be found inside uh, rich mahogany trees or jungle shrines like this. So the easiest of course is just fish fish for um, jungle crates because traveling in the underground jungle can be dangerous especially in master mode so uh, but obviously we need basic shoes basic boots to to start crafting right so and which ones are the easiest to obtain so you have Hermes you have uh, flurry dune rider and obviously sailfish. So sailfish is one of the easiest to obtain because you don't need to travel anywhere and they drop from both iron and wooden crates. Okay, so you can fish it um, almost in any biome pretty much. Uh, and so the thing is that, uh, well, Hermes would be the next easiest boots to obtain and they are found in uh, gold chests underground. Next on our list is the egglet. Aglet can be obtained from the wooden chest and wooden crates. Wooden chests are fairly common, scattered around your surface of your world, but fishing is also a good option. As you can obtain it from the wooden crates. And wooden crates are fairly common when, when fishing, especially using uh, crate potions. Speaking of fishing, next item brings us to lava. So obsidian crates have a chance, 1 in 20 chance to actually produce oh look at this <laughs> okay that was lucky 1 in 20 chance to produce lava charm okay so lava charm has been buffed the drop rate has been buffed in 1.4.1 so now it's 1 in 20 instead of 1 in 40 same goes for gold chests so golden chests in the cavern layer can also produce lava charm and at about the same rate one now to the most frustrating and annoying part guys as of 1.4.1 obsidian rose is required to craft terra spark boots now what that means is you have to kill fire imps they're fairly rare and it's very dangerous and it's in the underworld and you have to do it here and get ready it's one in 50 chance so in my case it took me 147 imps to kill it so get uh, get armed with Water candles, battle potions, statues, uh, gnome statues, bone torches, and whatnot. Add your uh, maybe luck potions as well, so to increase your chances. Anyway, this may take a while, so keep it in mind. All right, you also need 20 obsidian to craft an obsidian skull, and obsidian can be mined with an advanced pickaxe. So you need to defeat at least uh, Brain of Cthulhu or Eater of Worlds or at least initiate those fights to obtain enough ingredients to craft the pickaxe. Or you can use dynamite to explode uh, and uh, collect obsidian. Nothing can be crafted before we actually get our tinkerer and buy a tinkerer workshop and rocket boots. So for that we need to initiate 
goblin army event and that can be actually done using goblin standard this way you avoid goblin armies from prevent them from spawning randomly in your world okay so goblin army can be defeated fairly easily all right after that you go down into the cavern layer and armed with the hunter potion look for the tinkerer so once you release him buy the tinker workshop and rocket boots and that's it guys at this point we're about to start crafting so first things first i'm gonna craft specter boots combining rocket boots and self selfish or hermes or dune rider or flurry okay next we're gonna craft lightning boots from the Spectre Boots, Anklet of the Wind, and the Aglet. Alright, so there you go. Once you got your Lightning Boots, you can craft them into Frost Spark by combining those with, the, with your Ice Skates. Alright, so finally we can craft our Lava Waders. So how to craft those? We need an obsidian skull, which is crafted from 20 obsidian at a furnace. Okay, so now we're gonna craft obsidian water walking boots, uh, combining the, the skull and the, the water walking boots. And the next, we're gonna craft the lava waders. Lava waders can be crafted by combining the obsidian rose, lava charm, and obsidian walking water walking boots. Okay, so this is the change in 1.4.1. And finally, combining the Frost Spark and Lava Waders, we can finally get the Terra Spark boots. The shiniest boots in town, guys. Okay, so yeah, obviously, oh, we got uh, Menacing right away. This is good. Um, they're by the, quite, a way, quite expensive to reroll, so yeah, you might, might need some cash for that. Alright, so what do they give us? They provide the ability to walk on lava, water, honey. And you have 7 seconds immunity inside lava. Okay, so you can actually uh, dive inside lava. Okay, so another thing, they provide limited flight, similar to Frost Park previously. And that's about it. Ah, and, and obviously, four, uh, eight percent in speed increase. So, so essentially, they combine the functionality of all the accessories that went into crafting those. All right, guys. I hope you find this video informative, and thank you for watching. See you in the next one.